I challenge you to ride a bike with me to the gym by the end of the year. We're gonna have to accept that. That was the gym. Nick's looking pretty big, eh? I'm catching up. It's getting there. This getting is there. my gym influence. I actually learned quite a bit today. Call me Seabum, Chris Bumstead. The gym is only as good as much as you eat. Bar burrito, the new one. We'll take the bad bug around town today. Hey, good, good workout today. <laughs> I'll see you at Barbarito, buddy. Three years ago, I took this photo of Nick here uh, before he got a tattoo. And now we're just Three updating it. He's got two nice tattoos. Show them off. Got a couple here. You got this two? This is the one main one. Those. Whoa. Maybe more. Maybe more on the more way. More to come. Way. Maybe I'll get a tattoo. Everyone needs a tattoo. Everyone needs one. Uh, hit a lift together, I oh, think. Cool. Yeah, we did. Yeah, See, man, I'm yeah. hungry. Very, oh, that is kind of interesting. Let's head down here. Quick, pretty face. That's where the magic happens. Let's eat. Let's munch. They're a new Barbarito, new employees. So, oh, man, he made it. This is my friend. Hi, I'm his friend. <laughs> Play smooth jazz. I like this burrito, though. The chicken in this one. And he passed out again. I'm like, do you want me to get water? He's like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Not to point any fingers, of course, because I definitely should not have smoked that last joint before going to the bar. Just like what we're doing right now. Nick has got the bug cam. You can call it a barn, you can call it the pad again. This is Blicky's apartment. We have a chair here. You know, I often read. What chapter are you on? Chapter three. Are you reading the book? Correct. Damn, that book is insane. Yeah, is. You know, I don't want to raise my blood pressure. So this yeah, is a know. funky mirror. Thumbnail opportunity right here. Definitely. Okay, yeah. What's funny is this mirror first started lifting weights. I would use this mirror. This gives you maybe 25 extra pounds. If you, do, <laughs> if you do a little flex, your shoulders pop. Yeah! I love this mirror. It's quite a nice mirror. That's where the missing wallet is from the video you guys made oh, seven years ago. We finally found it. The fruit cellar. Mixed beans. Let's get a close up on mixed beans over here. Only been around this corner maybe three times in my life and I've lived in this house my whole life. It's evil. You were playing hide and seek. This would be a spot to hide, that's for sure. You could probably eat most of those beans right out of the jar. Keep the spirits alive. The basement freezer. We've got the usuals. It's a Costco bulk bread. How about that? Some sandwiches are being made here. Yeah, that's uh, the left side. What's that in the corner? I just spotted it. It's over here? Yeah, actually. I did make it in grade three. I'll be honest, I had no idea what I was doing. But my mom insisted on keeping it and framing it because she genuinely thought it was a good art piece. Bro, this is like Van Gogh. Some art history right here. <laughs> Maybe I'll recreate this. Who knows? Just like the photo. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes that's a good thing. Because sometimes I'm critical of myself. Hey, aren't we all? What? My mom reassures me. Control the weight. Don't let the weight control you. That's all you need. That's all you need. This is my squid. Uh, his name is Matt. This guy turned 11 two days ago. Oh, you fish. Beans. Is there, are these his stomping grounds, essentially? Yeah, he likes to sleep down here. We got him a bear for Christmas, and all he does is make sweet love to it. Wow. He's gonna do that. Yeah, we uh, actually hand these out when I beat everyone in NHL. I see a piece of technology down here. What do we got here? Yeah, this is uh, my brother's headset. No, I, I was talking about this basket. Yeah, so this is my brother's basket. Helps somebody make it. Three controllers for the PlayStation 5 yeah. here? Yeah, I don't use it a lot. I have a PS4 in the room that we're gonna explore a bit later, but the games kind of suck. It's slow. A TV here. Flat inch. Yeah, flat inch. So could you tell me if it's big or not? Do you want me to tell you what size it is? We're 65 here. I think you're correct. Is this VR chat? It is. This is the newest addition to the household here. I have a lot of fun in there. This is the future. Be no flat inch. We'll just have like a couple headsets. Couch. Nice couch. I remember when they actually put this in. Do you want to try out the couch? Charge the phone. TikTok. You ever think about getting a longer phone cable? Honestly, no. You glued to the position? I, I think I like this position a lot. It's a lot comfier in my room, and I'd rather wake up in my room. Sometimes I worry when my parents see my door open. Where's Nick? Did he escape? Yeah. Now this is one of the main events down here. Here we go. This is the Tama Imperial Star. I actually had a drum set before the basement got renovated, right where that uh, the island is. 
Oh! I actually played Minecraft for the first time where that washroom is. Oh! Minecraft for the first time in the restroom. But yeah, anyways, Tama Imperial Star. Chose to go with the Tama brand because I heard very good things and the size was perfect for the basement. Was actually gonna go for an electric kit, but I decided against it because acoustic kits are just not much better. This is my office space here. We've got the whole crew. One, two, one, two. One, two. This here, yeah, you know, you could play poker if you wanted. Could you socialize here? It'd be a little hard to. This tree. Every now and then you need to get a, a little extra pumpage. Some action here. You do a little bit of this here. A couple trinkets up here. Some howl that probably the most disgusting whiskey I've ever had in my life. We've got some secret hot sauces. These two sauces have done a lot of damage to some people. When I shake it, it doesn't move anymore. I don't know if I'm gonna try it. I was going to, but I think I'm too full for that. Oh no, this is even worse right here. This was the second hottest hot sauce on Hot Ones. Mad Dog, e something. It's 357,000 Scoville units. I've put a toothpick amount in my rice once and it destroyed me inside and out, if you know what I mean. Drinks well with others. Is that another quote of the day? It's either a quote of the day or they're speaking about Pasquale over here. This this man. That looks so high def, it's insane. Is it the Minecraft layer? It used to be. This used to actually be where I rest. Did. Rested. But it's turned into a bathroom. And many spiders. If you're wondering what I look like. I used to play Minecraft right here. There's a spider right there. I mean, yep, W, walking, hopping. Vamos. GTA 5. Knock, yeah, knock, knock. How's it going? Hey, is this, this the crib? Yeah, this is me. My name's Nick. Wow, you got a dual monitor setup. Let me tell you, insignia, insignia. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. I would zoom you. This was the angle I would see, this eh? This is it. We got the pork chops here. We got to pay homage to the pork chops. We won the Euros in 2016. There's the other champ. You got the shirt. Yep. If you notice, you know, we got the flag, the hat, and the shirt. All three plus me in Toronto for the celebration. I was in there for the parade, yes. Yeah. The parade was quite quite a time. How was that? Fantastic until we had to run away because of gunfire. But notice how we got <laughs> flag, shirt, and hat. Flag, shirt, and hat. Pay homage to the other half too, indubitably. See the PlayStation down in the dirt? We lose eight rounds of Warzone a night. You play on uh, the big boy? I play on this one here, yeah. This one's, it's very nice. I got it two years ago. This one, cable. Sometimes I'll watch the Blue Jays on there if they're playing. A lot of smells here. We call this the smell zone. This one is Cool Rush. This one is Arctic Edge. This one is Speed. Different because I, I've heard that your armpits get used to the smell or the scent or what the brand the brand and then it doesn't work anymore So, you know, we got to mix it up. We're saving you got a nice shoe wall. Yeah, you know I, I do I do collect shoes as well the top row is my favorite I would say it got the most character. These are the Air Max one anniversaries. They oh, make them man anymore. They got Air Max day on the tongue 326 don't remember that guys. I call these my neck breakers These are just you know people look at them and they they're like cool. That's a dope shoe Air Max ones just like these ones here but these ones are designed by tinker there we go tinker and it's like the schematic of the air max one the shoe itself so this is how they made it they got all the dimensions oh, wow even underneath even inside uh, that's where your demons are that's, or? Where we, <laughs> that's where we hide a lot of demons we can't release them or else Everyone that watches these videos will get cursed. Yeah, and we can see that it's 526. Weird time to eat lunch. And this is the Blue Jays corner. Yeah, we you know we gotta pay homage to the, the sport that's happening, even though they're not doing the best. Uh, we got Jose Bautista pre-bat flip signed this hat. Wow. I remember meeting him a long time ago. Same with Adam Rin. He's on there as well. If we flip this hat, I'll bend here. We got some balls. Given during practice, it's got practice there. I think this was by BJ Upton before he was a Blue Jay. He was on the Tampa Bay Rays when he tossed this ball to me during practice. Caught this ball mid-game. So these markings are Major League Baseball players. Wow, Maybe where'd you catch it? In game? Toronto? Rogers Center. Front row, easy scoop before they had netting. I can't remember who was batting. When did you uh, catch it? 2015. Nice. Major League Baseball baseballs. Let's rock! The sales floor. We're doing a quick intermission before we get to those drums. I don't know how to fold. And I'll give you a demonstration of what I know. But right here we have, uh, what are you, a folding engineer? Former folding that? engineer, I guess you could say. You know, I'm trying to think of what the badge I got was. Fold King. You know, I was, I was often called the Folding King. We get it all good. Yeah, it looks about right to me. So this is the back of the shirt. Correct. So then what we usually do is a little fold yeah. like that. 
And then uh, I pick up the bottom here, and I only started doing this like two years ago. The one. And then. Okay. And then, you know, like. Not so. a bad technique. I definitely see some similarities. No, it's like. Thing. That's not what I get at the grocery store. <laughs> at, yeah, at the superstore at Zares, they don't sell. I you understand. Got any tips yeah. or tricks for me? I certainly could uh, highlight some things that you could do. So, what I usually do, skip the step of, you know, kind of folding it in half like you did here. And instead, I fold inwards. So, I'd fold like this. So, both the sleeves are kind of in the same position. And then we just give it a little chinner. Pre-COVID, you get a one here, and you get a two here. Oh! And it makes it pretty perfect. That is so much nicer than mine. <laughs> Got a little sleeve coming out here, but yeah, it's much easier as well. Is there anything different with a collar? A collar, typically the same thing. Actually, typically the same thing with everything. Hoodies, uh, you can fold the hoodie perfectly like that as well. So, so instead of folding half, you more just... I kind of give it a little, yep. And just then get the, the sure. wings in there. Give yeah. it a little chin, hold it with your chin. Give it a little two spot. Uno, and then one more up to the sleeves. Ah, money, and you fold it right on top. Give it a little adjust a moon, adjust a moon and you're golden. Well, it's not 100%, but we're improving and we're learning. That's Gazebo Bug service. Thank you for your service today, sir. Let's do some more. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, we weren't recording. Really? No, we were. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. How many years have you been playing the drums? Off and on, I'd say, I think I started when I was 10 years old. I'm 23 now, I do the math, I'm not doing it. 13? Is that correct, maybe. 10 plus 13? There you go. <laughs> Boom. Each, uh, each little drum each called. Piece. So we got two crashes here. Uh, it's the Sabian crash, and then we got a PP Mino crash. We got a ride symbol right here. You can use the outer layer, and then you can also use two different sounds. You got the floor tom, Evans. You got a two toms floaters up here, and we got the almighty snare. Wow, I love a good snare. And then you got the kick. Is it called? Is it just called the kick drum? Bass drum, yeah. Bass drum, kick drum. That's the uh, that's the kit. I want to do a little more with the kit, but uh, very expensive. Yeah. One of these, like the top of it. <laughs> would be its own price and you gotta buy the bottom and it doesn't even come with the stand so think about these as well if I wanted to get another ride very expensive so what would an addition what addition would you put on I want another symbol maybe even just a symbol stand so it can get a better angle when I when I hit it this one is okay it's a little awkward but I want to get a stand that kind of comes inwards so I can hit a little bit better and nice. maybe another a ride this one kind of sounds like poo poo What's the basic drum pattern you can we teach can just, me? Uh, we'll do something that implements the hi-hat, the snare, and the bass drum. We can bring these in afterwards. These are usually little fillers as well. So off of, you know. Add little things like that with these here. These are like little extra accoutrements, if you will. But this is the bread and butter, hi-hat, snare, bass drum, and that's what we'll be teaching you today. This is how you'll start. We'll get the hi-hat going first. So be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then we'll add the snare. Obviously, I can't spin up with that. But. I'm excited to it. try out the drums. Go crazy. Go crazy. Even bring these in if you have to. You're on the gazebo bug wand. Wow, this is crazy. Pan, tilt, follow. Should just follow everywhere you go. These drums look so cool. Pressing down always, unless when you lift it and you hit it at the same time, it creates that hi-hat effect. And then your foot will always be on the bass pedal as well. So that'll stay there, just resting there. That foot will stay there, resting there as well. Ideally, you just want your toes. I know it's a little intricate and you'll be perfectly fine with the beat you're doing. It's gonna be fine if you're just kind of pressing it that way. Um, but we'll start with the hi-hat. Just do one, two, three, four. And your hands, the way they cross. Yeah, that's good. 
Is this one going to be under? This one's over top, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's what we call like a cross. So we'll do the bass first and then the snare. So it'll be one, two, three, four, boom, bump, boom, bump. I know it can screw you up. It can screw you up. I can do it one more time if you want. Okay, so this one's above. Your bass and your snare are opposite usually. They're opposite, yep. Exactly. So that thing, have your arm always going like that, and then try to get the bass and the snare. Boom. And try your very best to keep the hi-hat going. Forget the hi-hat for now and just get the bass and the snare. So boom, boom, ba, boom, boom. And then you can do double bass and then snare. Boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. Boom, yeah, yeah. The moment the other one is added in. My brain's all working gets... too right now, but this is all I, this is all I do. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do it again, just one more time. So yeah, the hi hat is always like, this is something that's always moving. That's always going, and then everything else kind of comes afterwards. So, that's usually when the bass comes in. on the one, the snare on the three, and this just can, can one, two, three, four, one, one two, three, one. So you have to go slower. One, two, one. One, two, one. one, two, one. You actually had it, you had it. <laughs> yep. Oh! oh I you had the double bass there, <laughs> you actually had it, you had it going. That was the longest time you had. Two. Yeah. Oh! Yo. And that's the first lesson. Yo. Yeah. 365 days from now. If you. What well, are they laughing? Well, Pete, honestly, that's this is where you start. This well, is where I this, started. I'll have to book out some times and I'll have to give your parents I'm a down. gift. I'm down to teach. Whenever them. they're not home, I'm here. I usually do when they go for walks. It's even better when uh, you're playing songs and you're just, so, you just keep going. Can you play a song for me? Uh, Should we play a song? Do you know any Three Days Grey songs? I think I would know. I've been drumming to Lost in You for a very long time.
just stay alive. Long intro. Long intro. And if I don't belong, who would have guessed it? And that's Drum 101 with your boy. Can't do that, but. I'm working on that. Uh, where do you play Minecraft? Oh, come right this way, please. <laughs>